Hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for joining me. So a fairly hefty sized box today, I've got to say. Um, so I'm not quite sure what this one is, but it looks pretty exciting. I am glad it made it here alive though, because the address was actually printed on stickers that were that easy to come off. So um, yeah, uh, at least it made it here in one piece, which is fantastic. So let's see what we've got. As usual, I don't know at the time of opening what this is. So we'll just open up this plastic bag first. No oh, apologies, because some of this will probably have to be off camera, bear with me. Okay, well, so far so good. Regular viewers will know that I always try and salvage the bubble wrap if I can. Okay, we're almost there. Well, this is, they are making us wait for it today, hey? Right, let's see what we've got. Please do check out some of the other unboxing videos on the channel as well. The idea is we, um, we unbox them first and then we'll plug them in at a later date, find out what works, find out what doesn't work, and then repair and restore them accordingly. So, here we go. Right, we are very nearly there now. One more layer of parcel tape. Uh, bubble wrap, I should say. Oh, well, that'll come in handy for Christmas wrapping anyway. Righty-ho, here she is then. So we've got a Sharp GF8989. So this bad boy hails all the way from the 1980s, early 80s. And um, yeah, four bands. So we've got um, FM, short wave, medium wave, and long wave. And two band EQ, so treble and bass with centre detents there. There's your band selector, obviously your volume, recording level. It's got Dolby as well, which I think is Dolby, um, Dolby B. Metal and normal tape position and mono and stereo. You've also got the uh, auto program search system, so you can actually um, skip ahead by certain number of tracks and stuff and it'll find its place on the tape for you. Um, looks to be in fairly good condition. It is missing the, tu the tuning dial. And so that's uh, that's obviously an issue, but not the end of the end of the world. It's a fairly standard, fairly standard D um, D shaped potentiometer shaft on there, um, or tuning shaft anyway. Um, so battery cover though is present, and it actually looks like it's in really nice condition. Not too bad at all. Um, the aerial retainer is in place. The tip of the aerial is on there, so that's that's good. A little bit bent perhaps, but. That's fine. Um, yeah, clean and tidy overall. So um, quite pleased with that. I've got no idea if it works, to be honest. But then we never do, do we, on this channel? Where we open these things up, we don't know if the radio works, whether the tape works, um, or what, what on earth kind of state it's in. So um, anyway, it'd just be cool to get it on the channel. So what we'll do is in a future video, we will plug it in, test it to see what works and what doesn't work and then diagnose any issues and get ahead to start repairing it. So um, please do come along for the ride, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and I shall see you soon. Um, we've got loads of eight track stuff, loads more different boom boxes, personal stereos, all kinds of vintage kits. So um, yeah, stay tuned and I'll be back soon. Ta-ra for now, bye.